Um, good evening and welcome to the British Insurance Awards 2010. Now I know this has been a challenging year for many of you with poor investment returns and competitive pricing creating what one CEO called the hardest soft market ever. But new challenges are coming thick and fast as the coalition government ushered in on the back of the longest and deepest recession since the 30s plans to dismantle the Financial Services Authority. Now you, the industry, has had a hate-tolerate relationship with the regulator since its inception. But I dare say you will probably miss it when it's gone. However, the die is cast, and the one regulator will be replaced by two, the rather naturally titled Prudential Regulatory Authority and equally titled Happy Consumer Protection and Markets Authority. The question is, will it be business as usual, but in different buildings, or will the change herald a new era of prescriptive and uh, heavy-handed regulation? Well, the message to the government is simple. Regulation and supervision must be targeted, appropriate, and address real issues. Insurance should not be lumped in with banking as this would be like using a hammer to crack a nut. <coughs> One size certainly does not fit all in financial services. Now the signs from Parliament look promising, but if the insurance industry wants the government to really listen, it must also put its own house in order. So here is my challenge to you, the great and the good of the insurance world sitting out there in this magnificent hall tonight. The challenge is to embrace, promote, and embed professionalism along with the competency and integrity that that implies across your businesses, across underwriting, broking, claims, and throughout the supply chain. Now this year our publications, Post, Professional Broking, Insurance Age, and indeed Reinsurance, have been promoting our Investing in a Profession campaign. And I urge you to do just that invest in your profession. But it's not just us in the media calling for this. A few months ago, the Chartered Insurance Institute, together with a host of other professional and trade bodies, produced the Aldermanbury Declaration. Now the declaration is a clear statement of intent. And that intent is that by the end of 2013, every single UK broker and insurer will exceed a minimum number of qualified staff at least half of all relevant managers qualified to at least ACII level. That you will commit to a framework of common standards and an enforceable code of ethics. And perhaps most importantly, that you will put the customer at the centre of everything you do. So if you have not already read, understood, and indeed signed up to this declaration, then I urge you to do so. It's not a huge ask. It's not even a huge leap. It's about formalizing what, many, what in many cases already exists, as most of tonight's finalists demonstrate. And having read all the entries this year's awards, I am in no doubt the industry can and will step up to the mark. But it will continue to meet demand, will keep innovating in terms of the insurance products and services that it offers, and continue to deliver on its promises. The industry, your industry, has got fantastic people working within it. And these awards are about recognizing that talent, that initiative, that innovation, that professionalism. They are about spreading the news of how insurance helps businesses undertake new ventures and continue training and adversity. And of course, how it comes to the rescue in the wake of personal accident or disaster. And the country needs it too. Millions of people depend on your industry. And yes, as we in the media are quick to remind you, you do get it wrong on occasion. In fact, you only have to look at the recent confused reaction to policy coverage after the unpronounceable Icelandic volcano erupted. But that should not detract from the overwhelmingly positive role the industry plays in society that is often overlooked. The BIA finalists tonight all show that the industry is professional in its outlook is constantly trying to enhance 
and improve its offering and service, and that it is not complacent. So I call on all of you to embrace the Aldenbury Declaration and stand up to be counted. Be proud of your industry and enjoy tonight as we celebrate all of your work.